Episode 25, The Tale of Mechanical Wonders. Scene 1, The Arrival of Dr. Clausen Body. In the vast velvet void of space, the intrepid spacecraft, home to our beloved cat heads, drifts silently. But today, the silence is shattered by the hum of an approaching vessel. Aboard this vessel is none other than Dr. Clausen Body, the infamous inventor of artificial bodies for cat heads. The airlock hisses open and in strides Dr. Clausenbody, flanked by his mechanical marvels. Ah, my feline friends. Behold the solution to your disembodied dilemma. Mechanical cat bodies. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it? Disembodied? Ha <laughs> ha. 
Dr. Clausen body, your wordplay wounds the weary, yet I find myself curious about these contraptions. Look at these shiny new cat bods. Do they come with a scratch post option or perhaps a built-in laser pointer? My dear Lieutenant, these bodies are equipped with the latest in feline comfort technology. Why you could chase digital mice for eternity. But can they replicate the warm sunbeam on a cold morning? The simple joy of knocking objects off tables with utter disdain? Well, I, uh, you see, look, adjustable tails. And Tail adjustments? Can it do that thing where it puffs up when I'm startled or pretending to be a bigger cat? Precisely. And that's not all. They can even simulate the sensation of fur. A simulation, you say? A mere shadow of the real sensation, like a dream within a dream. How existential. Ooh, do they have a setting for extra fluffy? I've always wanted to be fluffier. Of course, fluffiness levels are fully customizable, from sleek and stealthy to maximum puff. And yet these mechanical cat bodies, can they feel the heartache of separation from one's true form? The longing for reunification? Well, no, but they have built-in purring. Great, if we can't find our bodies, at least we'll be well purred. That's comforting. As the cat heads ponder the potential of these mechanical bodies, one can't help but wonder if technology can truly replace the essence of feline finesse. But as curiosity is the cat's creed, it seems they may just give these bodies a try. Let us proceed with caution, Lieutenant. For though these bodies may offer a semblance of normalcy, our souls remain adrift, seeking our true forms. Roger that, Captain. Let's not get too attached to these mechanical cat body replacements. <laughs> attached. Get it? And with that, the cat heads and Dr. Clausen body move towards the lab, where the mechanical bodies await. Little do they know, an unexpected twist in their tail is about to unfold. Scene 2, the Lab of Mechanical Wonders. The spacecraft's lab is aglow with the eerie light of Dr. Clausen body's inventions. Rows of mechanical bodies stand in silent anticipation, their metallic eyes gleaming in the artificial light. Captain Whiskerfluff, Lieutenant Mittens, and Dr. Clausen body enter, their shadows dancing across the cold steel surfaces. Welcome to my laboratory, or as I like to call it, the future of feline evolution. It's like a cat toy store in here, if cat toys were made of metal and slightly intimidating. Indeed, a metallic menagerie. Each body a vessel, yet void of the spirit that animates the flesh. Ah, but think of the possibilities. No more worrying about space debris or cosmic rays. These bodies are indestructible. Indestructible, you say? Does that mean I can finally catch that red dot without fear of exhaustion? Absolutely. Your new body will tirelessly pursue E, that elusive dot, to the ends of the universe, if need be. And what of the ends of our souls? Will these bodies house our dreams, our fears, our love for catnip? Well, they have a compartment for catnip storage, if that counts. Storage, smorage. What about the thrill of the hunt? The satisfaction of a successful pounce? Fear not. These bodies come equipped with a hunt mode. You'll feel like you're chasing real mice through fields of tall grass. Yet what grass is this that waves not in the wind, but in the sterile air of a spacecraft? A simulation, a mere facsimile of freedom. Wait, do these bodies have night vision? I've always wanted to see in the dark without bumping into things. Of course. Enhanced night vision, thermal imaging, you name it. You'll be the apex predator of the spaceship. An apex predator, yet confined within walls of metal and glass. A king in a cage is no king at all. Look, they also have a self-cleaning function. No more hairballs. No more hairballs, you say? Now that's a feature I can get behind or inside, as it were. As the cat heads explore the capabilities of their potential new bodies, mixed feelings of wonder and apprehension fill the air. The promise of indestructibility and enhanced abilities is tempting, but the soul of a cat is not so easily contained or replaced. Let us proceed with this experiment, Dr. Clausen body. But know this, our hearts, our essence, cannot be mechanized. Yeah, what the captain said, but um, can we try the night vision first? With cautious optimism, the cat heads agree to test the mechanical bodies. Little do they know, the true test is not of the body, but of the spirit. Scene three, the first attachment. 
In the heart of the spacecraft, surrounded by the hum of technology and the scent of anticipation, our cat heads stand before their respective mechanical bodies. Dr. Clausen body, with a remote in hand, prepares to initiate the attachment process. Prepare yourselves, feline pioneers. On my mark, we shall bridge the gap between organic and synthetic past and future. I'm ready. I think, um, is there a button to press? I love pressing buttons. At there is a heaviness within, a trepidation as we stand on the precipice of the unknown. Yet we proceed, for curiosity is our guide. And now I'm pressing the button. A soft electronic whirring fills the room, followed by a series of clicks and mechanical purrs as the cat heads gently float towards their new bodies. Whoa, I'm floating. This is like that dream where I chase the space mouse on a cloud. A sensation most peculiar. As if my very essence is being drawn into a vessel not of flesh and bone, but of circuits and steel. Attachment sequence is 90% complete. Just a few more moments and the integration will be complete. Wait, do these bodies have a litter box feature or do we just, I don't know, oil ourselves? Uh, a common concern, but fear not for these bodies are equipped with a waste recycling system, efficient and odor free. To recycle one's waste. A metaphor for life itself, perhaps. We consume, we produce, and so the cycle continues ad infinitum. With a final series of beeps, the attachment process completes. The cat heads now fully integrated with their mechanical bodies. I, I can feel my paws, well, sort of. It's like wearing gloves that are also your hands. An odd dissonance courses through me. I am here, yet not. Present, yet absent. A duality of existence. Success. How do you feel, my feline friends? Ready to explore the limits of your new forms? I feel powerful, like I could leap tall cat trees in a single bound. Let's test these babies out. Caution, Lieutenant. We must not lose ourselves in the allure of power. For what are we, if not the sum of our experiences, our joys, our sorrows? Excellent. Let the trials begin. First up, Agility and reflex testing. As the cat heads begin to acclimate to their new mechanical bodies, a mix of wonder and existential contemplation fills the air. They embark on a series of tests, not just of their new forms, but of their very identities. Scene four, the agility and reflex testing. The testing chamber, a vast room filled with obstacles and platforms, awaits the newly upgraded cat heads. Dr. Clausen body, with a controller in hand, stands ready to observe and document their every move. Captain Whiskerfluff and Lieutenant Mittens, in their mechanical bodies, approach the starting line, their metal paws clinking softly against the floor. Welcome to the agility course. Here, we'll test your speed reflexes and, of course, your innate cat-like agility. Are you ready? Born ready, or well, attached ready. Let's do this. Let us proceed, though, with dignity and grace. For even in a mechanical shell, the soul of a cat remains agile and free. Excellent spirit. On my mark. Three, two, one, go. The sound of a buzzer echoes through the chamber, signaling the start of the test. Woo-hoo. Check out these hydraulic legs. Like a whisper on the wind, I glide over obstacles, a testament to the enduring agility of the feline form. Impressive. Look at them go. The integration is even better than I expected. I'm jumping, I'm jumping. I'm gonna beat the record, I'm gonna... Whoa! A sudden slip, followed by a clatter of metal as Lieutenant Mittens misjudges a jump. Oh, I fell, oh, okay, I'm okay. This body has shock absorbers, right? Indeed it does. A little tumble is nothing for these advanced mechanical marvels. Each leap and bound a dance between the stars. Yet my heart remains heavy, tethered to the memories of flesh. Your poetic musings aside, Captain, your performance is truly remarkable. You've both adapted splendidly. Let's see how the Captain handles the laser pointer challenge. Ah, the laser pointer, our eternal adversary. In this mechanical form, shall I finally catch the uncatchable? And here we go, the ultimate test of feline agility and focus. The soft whirring of machinery as a laser pointer activates, its red dot dancing erratically across the walls and floor. Ha 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 ha! It's mine, all mine. A red specter in the void, elusive yet compelling. 
a metaphor for our endless pursuit of meaning. As the test unfolds, laughter and philosophical musings fill the air. The catheads in their mechanical bodies chase after the red dot, embodying both the eternal jest and the existential quest of their kind. But beneath the surface, a question lingers. Can technology truly capture the essence of the feline spirit? Scene 5, The Heartfelt Discussion. After the agility and reflex testing, Captain Whiskerfluff and Lieutenant Mittens retreat to a quiet corner of the spacecraft. The hum of machinery fades into the background, leaving space for a more introspective conversation. Their mechanical bodies idle quietly, a stark contrast to the lively spirits within. Lieutenant, as we navigate these metallic vessels, I find myself ensnared by a web of contemplation. Do these bodies serve as an extension of our beings, or do we merely inhabit them as one might a temporary shelter? Captain, I've been pondering something similar. These bodies are incredible. Sure, I've never jumped higher or moved faster, but it doesn't feel the same. There's something missing, something essential. Precisely, my dear Mittens, it is the essence of life itself that eludes replication. The warmth of the sun, the caress of the wind, the inexplicable joy of purring upon a loved one's lap. These experiences, these sensations, are the core of our existence. Yeah, and what about the thrill of the chase? The satisfaction of a successful hunt? This body can mimic the actions, but the feelings, they're just not there. Indeed. It is as if we are actors in a play wearing masks that conceal our true selves. We perform, we go through the motions, but the connection, the authenticity of the moment is lost. And there's something else, Captain, this separation from our real bodies. It feels like a betrayal, doesn't it? Like we're giving up on finding them. A poignant observation, Lieutenant. To accept these mechanical forms as our own would be to relinquish the hope that burns within us, the hope of reunion with our true selves. Our journey, our quest, is not merely a search for our bodies, but a search for the essence of who we are. So what do we do, Captain? These bodies offer safety, capabilities beyond our wildest dreams. But at what cost? We must make a choice, Lieutenant. A choice between the allure of technological prowess and the integrity of our essence. Our lost bodies are out there, Mittens, that we know. We are searching for them, and I best guess they for us. Reunification of the whole is not just our essence, but our mission. For though we may wander the cosmos in search of our bodies, it is the journey of the soul that defines us. You're right, Captain. As amazing as these bodies are, they're not really us, even though they are much more powerful than we ever were as just cats. I miss feeling the rumble of my purr, the softness of my fur, the, well, being a cat in all the ways that count. Then let us resolve to continue our quest, not as mechanized imitations of ourselves, but as the proud cat heads we are. For in the end, it is not the body that defines us, but the heart. The spirit, the unyielding courage to face the unknown. You've got it, Captain. Let's show the universe that we're more than just heads in helmets. We're cats with hearts as big as the cosmos itself. As their conversation draws to a close, a renewed sense of purpose fills the air. Captain Whiskerfluff and Lieutenant Mittens, bolstered by their bond and the clarity of their convictions, prepare to face the next chapter of their journey. For though the path may be fraught with uncertainty, their spirits remain unbroken, their resolve unshaken. Scene 6, The Decision to Detach In the lab of Dr. Clausenbody, surrounded by the glow of monitors and the hum of machinery, our cat heads, Captain Whiskerfluff and Lieutenant Mittens, stand before the inventor. Their mechanical bodies, once symbols of a potential future, now feel like chains to their spirits. Dr. Clausenbody, your genius is undeniable and your contribution to feline kind is unparalleled. However, we find ourselves at a crossroads, a junction between the essence of being and the allure of mechanization. 
What are you saying, Captain? Are you not satisfied with your new capabilities, the freedom they offer? It's not about satisfaction, Doc. These bodies, they're incredible, yeah, but they're not really us or who we were meant to be. They don't purr, they don't feel the warmth of a sunbeam, and they definitely don't get hairballs. To inhabit these bodies would be to deny the very essence of our existence. Our quest is not for convenience or invulnerability, but for reunification with our true selves. I see. I had hoped to elevate your lives, to free you from your limitations, but it seems I've overlooked the intangible qualities that make you who you are. It's not your fault, Doc. You gave us a glimpse of what could be, but some things, they're just irreplaceable like the feeling of cleaning your ears with your paw or the thrill of a midnight zoomie. Thus we have made our decision. We must detach from these mechanical forms and continue our odyssey as we are, embracing the vulnerability and uncertainty that come with our true nature. Oh, bother. Hmm. Oh, very well, I understand. Let me prepare the detachment process. It's reversible, of course. Should you ever change your mind, Thanks, Doc. We appreciate everything. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll find a way to be whole again in every sense. Indeed, for the journey is long and the universe vast. Our spirits remain undaunted, our resolve unyielding. We shall continue to seek, to explore, to question. Let me press these buttons and okay, we are fine to go. The process is ready. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. Our bodies may float in the abyss, but our hearts soar among the stars. Let us be unburdened. Let's do it. I'm ready to feel like a real cat again, even if it's just in spirit. With a series of soft beeps and whirs, the detachment process begins. The cat heads slowly separate from their mechanical bodies, a symbolic rebirth into their true identities. The gentle hum of machinery winding down followed by the distinct sound of their life helmets reactivating fully as the cat heads detach. Ah, to be unencumbered once more. It is as if a weight has been lifted, not from our shoulders, but from our souls. I feel lighter already. Well, figuratively speaking, let's go find a sunbeam to sit in, or at least the spaceship equivalent. Farewell, brave cat heads. May your journey bring you closer to the reunion you seek. And remember, should you ever need me, my inventions or a place to rest, my lab is always open. As the mechanical bodies are left behind, shimmering in the lab's artificial light, our cat heads float away, their spirits buoyed by their decision. In their hearts, they carry the unshakable belief that their true bodies await them, somewhere in the cosmic expanse. And so their journey continues, a testament to the enduring quest for identity, home, and the irreplaceable warmth of being. Scene 7. The Vaporization of the Mechanical Bodies With the cat heads once again floating freely, sans their brief mechanical encasings, the scene shifts to Dr. Clausenbody standing solemnly before the now empty mechanical bodies. He holds a small, sleek remote with a single large button labeled Vaporize. To create is to let go. Each invention a step towards understanding, even if it means returning to the drawing board. The soft, melancholic hum of the lab's equipment provides a backdrop to this moment of contemplation. Farewell, creations of steel and wire. May your dissolution pave the way for new discoveries. A gentle, whirring crescendo builds to a soft whoosh as the mechanical bodies are enveloped in a bright but brief light, vaporizing into nothingness, leaving no trace behind but a faint shimmer in the air. Invention is as much about destruction as it is about creation. One must destroy to make room for the new, much like the stars themselves. As the last wisps of light fade, Dr. Clausenbody turns to leave, his mind already racing with new ideas, new possibilities. But his steps are halted by the arrival of three unexpected guests. The sudden whoosh of the lab's door sliding open. Enter Skidoodle, Yarnax, and the Tailor of Time. Woof! Wow! What was that light? Bark, did you see it, Yarnax? It was like whoosh, and then poof. Uh, the cycle of creation and destruction, a fundamental principle of the cosmos. What have you been up to, Dr. Clausen body? Time weaves and unweaves its tapestries, and you, Doctor, have just unraveled a thread. Intriguing. 
Ah, Skidoodle, Yarnax, Taylor of Time, welcome. You've just witnessed the end of one experiment and the beginning of another. The quest for understanding never ceases. Do you think you could make a body for a puppy head in space, asking for a friend? The essence of being cannot be contained in mere constructs, yet the pursuit of such endeavors enlightens the path. And in every ending there is a beginning. Time flows, the loom resets, and new patterns emerge. What will you weave next, Doctor? The quest goes on. With each failure, we learn. With each success, we are humbled. The universe is vast, and its mysteries infinite. But through invention, we draw closer, one discovery at a time. As the group engages in deep conversation, ideas sparking like stars in the night sky, the lab feels alive with potential. For in the space between knowing and not knowing lies the true adventure, a journey that our cat heads and their new acquaintances are well acquainted with. Scene eight, a new plan emerges. As the conversation between Dr. Clausenbody, Skidoodle, Yarnax, and the Tailor of Time continues, the lab becomes a crucible of ideas, with each new thought sparking another. The air is thick with the electricity of creation, and in this fervor, a new plan begins to take shape. Your presence, your perspectives, have ignited a thought, if not mechanical bodies, then perhaps there's another way to aid our cathead friends in their quest. Ooh, ooh, like what? Do you have another cool invention up your sleeve or um, in your lab coat? Assistance need not always come in the form of physical augmentation. Sometimes enlightenment, understanding, and guidance offer the truest support. Time's fabric holds many secrets, some of which can aid in bridging gaps, not just of space, but of essence and being. Precisely. What if instead of trying to replace what's missing, we focus on enhancing what's there, amplify their abilities to communicate, to navigate, to sense, thus aiding their search for their bodies? Like giving them super duper space powers, but you know, for finding stuff, and maybe still being able to chase space mice. A uh, noble endeavor. The cosmos is vast and its energies diverse. Tapping into these might provide the cat heads with the means to find what they seek. And in manipulating the weft and weave of time, perhaps we can offer glimpses, pathways previously unseen to hasten their reunion. Then it's settled. We'll work together to create a device or perhaps a series of devices that enhance the cat head's natural abilities. We'll empower them, not replace them. Woof, yay, this is going to be so much fun. Bark! I can't wait to see the captain and mittens with their new superpowers. Let us proceed with caution, for the balance of the cosmos is delicate. Our actions must be in harmony with the universal tapestry. And let us remember, each stitch in time we create is a responsibility. We weave not just futures, but destinies. As the lab buzzes with renewed purpose, the unlikely team sets to work, their combined talents a beacon of hope in the boundless dark of space. For Captain Whiskerfluff, Lieutenant Mittens, and all those who wander in search of themselves, the journey is far from over. But with friends and allies by their side, the path seems a little less daunting, the night a little less dark. End of episode. Join us on a journey through the galaxy. Help us find our bodies, set our spirits free. We're the cat heads in space, so we roam. Won't you come along and help us find our home? Oh. We're the cat heads on a mission pure. With your support, our future is secure. Through the universe, our hearts are true. Cat heads and bodies will make them new.